I tried hand cycling and I fell in love. I really wanted one. Um, I had to, it was, it was just something that I had to have, I had to start doing. And um, as soon as I looked into actually getting um, a hand cycle for myself, I realized that what was available at that time was both terrible and incredibly expensive. And so, you know, I basically said no, and the very first one I built was for me. And that's where it all started. Um, I realized that, you know, there are a lot of people that should enjoy sports that don't for economic reasons, um, especially peop people with disabilities. And uh, that was the driving force behind Intrepid, and that's why, I, that's why I kept going with it. The original bike that we came out with was the Tourer, and it's still our most popular bike, and it is certainly the most practical bike that we build. It's also the most cost-effective, quality, hand-built hand cycle available on the market. This is the mountain version of the Tura. Um, we're calling it the Tura Mountain. It's got tons of ground clearance with these enormous wheels. Um, you're up, you know, you've got 10, 11 inches of ground clearance. This is our brand new Eclipse. It is designed as a serious race hand cycle. It's ultra light and it's ultra reclined. We have a junior hand cycle called the Rascal, which is for little kids. The philosophy behind this bike was for a tough, fun bike for kids to just have a blast riding. This is the Morphing Hand Cycle X11. It has two modes of operation. It has a high maneuverability mode, which is what you see right here, and it has a high speed mode, which is when um, you're down low. So it moves from this position back up to this position. It goes from having an 18-foot turning circle to having a 5-foot turning circle. With your feet on the footrest like this, you have limited maneuverability. So basically what you've got to do is kick your feet out of the footrest and just let them dangle. So this might be a problem for someone with a lot of spasticity, but you know, for a lot of us, it's quite possible to do that. Um, and then you can swing the wheel right around and uh, you can turn around in a, what is an extremely tight spot. One of the unique things about the morphing hand cycle is this ability to adjust height. And one of the things that is often very hard for a hand cyclist is transferring in and out, especially in a super low bike. There are many factors that you consider when looking into what hand cycle that you should be riding. Um, one of those, and probably the most important of those, at least from my perspective, is practicality and comfort, because if you have a bike that's very difficult to use and uncomfortable, you're not going to ride it as much. Let's just say, for example, if I were to transfer into this wheelchair, I'd find the height of the wheelchair, I would lock the strut, um, and then if I flip my feet out of the footrest, like so, um, there is a release mechanism, a quick release mechanism, which is also unique to our products, which allows this whole front end to flip away, which gives me this clearance right here, and I, makes it much, much easier for me to get this foot over to this side. And then I can simply re-engage it, like so. And then the transfer is relatively straightforward, because I've got both legs on one side, and I'm at the same height. So if I simply can just slide myself across, it makes for actually a, an incredibly easy transfer. If you have you know, the ability to kind of move your arms like this, you have the ability to ride a bike. Um, we, can, we can figure out a way to allow you to shift, pedal, um, and steer and brake um, if you have that function. Whether that is a full quad grip, which is like a glove that clips the pedals with a coaster brake and elbow shifters, or whether that it's a, um, a grip that you can release your hands from and then use a push shifter like this. We can pretty much set something up that will allow any quad with this ability to be able to ride the bike. Um, often, interestingly, the most challenging thing with quads in hand cycles is seating stability. Um, and so that is where we would also kind of spend a, you know, a lot of time figuring out you know, what is going to be the best, best solution in terms of seating. Because if, if um, a quad has no trunk, no core muscles, 
and is finding that basically every time they turn, they fall out, that's a major problem. So if we can fix that, they're going to they're gonna be able to ride it. Now, the absolute coolest thing about this design is its ability to fold up and go inside a car. Because that is also a huge barrier to people hand cycling. These things are huge, and getting them to go inside a vehicle is a major issue. So check this out. We've got a quick release lever here on the back of the seat, which allows the seat to do that. I can fold down these footrests to reduce the pro profile, like so. Now, I have this coupling device in the frame, which if I release it, It allows me to have one part right here. And this, as well, can fold s smaller than this. But um, you often mostly don't need to. It'll go in the trunk of the uh, Toyota Corolla exactly as it is, no problem. Um, and then with this, if I flip these quick release levers right here, these wheels come right off. You can stack it. like so, and uh, with a little uh, nesting, this can um, fit inside the trunk of a compact car. We're a really small company, um, so we can take the time to modify our, our bikes to suit unique and individual needs. There you go. Riding a hand cycle is an important part of staying healthy. Um, it provides you with a great way to work out um, to um, maintain cardiovascular fitness um, and it is it, it just it keeps your body moving it keeps you um, in a state that most people take for granted by you know running going to the gym whatever um, and it's tremendously good fun too it's good for the mind Brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures.